Hey guys, I just want to show you a little product that I bought from Amazon. Now, I, I don't get any kind of kickbacks or any kind of incentive to show you these products. This is just something that I found that works pretty good. Maybe it'll work well for you too. Um, it's just a GoPro mount for my camera. And I just bought this kind of, I wasn't sure if it was going to be good quality or not, but it had pretty decent reviews. But, you know, sometimes you just can't always trust the reviews. But anyway, I rolled the dice. It was like 35 bucks after taxes and everything. So I took the buggy out for a ride a few weeks ago and I put my GoPro on here, took some forward shots, took some backward shots, and I'm here to tell you, I'm pretty impressed. It kept the camera very still, wasn't shaking around, it never flopped around, it never did anything that I didn't want it to do. So we've decided we want another camera mount on the front. So we bought another one of them from Amazon. So let's check it out. Chill. C H E L H E A D. Chill head. Anyway, that's what it is. That's the brand name. When you first open the box, it comes pretty well packaged. You have different size shims for whatever size tube that you're going to be working with. It comes with all the hardware you need. It even comes with an Allen wrench. And it even comes with the GoPro, the uh, thumb screw that goes in it. <clears throat> it's a well-made product. This all, all these pieces are made out of aluminum. These pieces are obviously made out of rubber so they can grip, the, grip your tube or your pipe or whatever you got. So uh, let's get the install on this thing. We're gonna mount this right here. And if we put the windshield back in this thing, we're probably just gonna notch around it to uh, clear the camera. All right, I'm running inch and a half tube on this buggy, so I'm using the middle set of the rubber shims for inch and three quarter or maybe two inch. I think you would use these thinner ones. And for like a one inch tube, you would use these thicker ones. But we're using the middle ones. So let's figure out exactly where we want it. Just kind of pop the shims in place like this. And there we go. Now I want the camera to be on this side of the tube, so I'm going to put that over there. And put this one on the outside. And you got two different sizes of screws. You're going to want to put the small screws on the clamp. Do that real quick. Yeah, like I said, it comes with the Allen wrench you need, and this Allen wrench fits both of those screws that I just showed you the big ones and the small ones. Alright, now this fits onto this side. See how it's got this kind of a star shaped pattern? It kind of interlocks with these little nubs sticking out there so you can put it together and you can put it at little different angles. It's not an infinite, but it's kind of got preset angles where you have to use them, but still, that's better than not having anything. Let's see here. Now you use the large bolts with the lock washers in the back. Uh -oh. Snug that down for right now. And when you pick up the actual GoPro mount, it's got the four nubs on there and it aligns the same way in this little starred pocket. And it's got a threaded bolt hole right in the middle. And we're going to mount ours like this since we're going to be facing the camera straight forward. Install it. Okay. Tighten down the thumb screw. Like I said, the one Allen key that they send you gets both sets of bolts. Make 
sure all your hardware is tight. All right, you're ready to go. That's all there is to it. And uh, like I said, I mean, these things do pretty good. I, I'm, I'm very impressed with it, so I can't wait to see what kind of footage we get off the front of this thing. So uh, stay tuned for a future video, and you'll see this little thing in action. Thanks. The first time we went out, I left this Allen wrench at home. And the camera mount was at such a weird angle, I couldn't film anything other than straight up into the sky or pretty much straight down. So don't forget to take this with you the first time you go out to make sure that you can adjust it the way you need to. So, so thanks for watching. See you next time.